KYC number three Freedom Family, Know Your Channel. We have been unlinking many channels from Freedom because they are doing things that are not compliant with YouTube's new policies around content quality. In this episode, I will go over specific channels showing you exactly why they are good, why they are bad, and why we've unlinked them. Let's go. What's wrong with David190 behind me? And I'll get myself out of the way so you can see the whole channel. It looks like a normal channel vlogging. The problem with this channel is he has one video that is this. And if I translate, right click, translate to English, you can see that it is talking about downloading fast and easy 1080p film from David190. If I click this link and go through the advertisement that it takes you through, you eventually end up here, which is a full two hour copy of the entire movie that's being played from a Google Drive link. And this is unacceptable. Because of that one video, we unlink the channel. Normally, we look at minor offenses and make a judgment call of do we feel we can help this person and reach out to them before unlinking the channel. But if the offense is egregious enough, like posting a full length movie link, that's the same as actually posting the movie guys. Linking to it is no different than you posting the whole video on your channel. Then we unlink the channel. But David, if you feel there was a misunderstanding and you help us understand the context of why you uploaded that video and why you will never do it again, there is a chance we'll bring you back because we never want to kill a Mozart. That's one of our primary goals at Freedom. We help everyone grow together as a family. So we want to help everyone, but if you are not working with us, we have to unlink you. What's wrong with Fortnite Shorts behind me? It has 369,000 subscribers and it has great looking thumbnails. If we look at one of the latest videos, we also see that it makes great content. These videos are very professional and why did we unlink this channel? Well, because Ninja is actually a channel with many millions of subscribers and this is a copycat. Let me show you. If I search for Ninja, you will see this 10 million subscriber channel. He's the most famous Fortnite player, guys. And you'll notice that the videos are the same. Let me just pick one of these. Actually, it's hard for you to tell, but this is the person, the live streamer in the video, and it's the exact same one as was on this channel that was partnered with Freedom. As soon as we discovered he's a copycat, we unlinked him instantly, even though he's a very large channel, clearly he's cashing in on the popularity of someone else and that is not allowed. Fun fact, how he found this channel is he changed his title eight times recently. We have many new metrics to help us find copycat channels or just bad actors. One of them is how many times you change your channel title. So that gets flagged for human review. We investigated the channel and discovered he's a copycat and unlinked him. What about this channel behind me? The Games with 135,000 subscribers. We did not unlink this channel, but what we did is we found one hacking video. So if you search for hack on the channel, there's a how to hack Angry Birds epic. That is not allowed guys. And normally we would unlink a channel if it's dedicated to hacking. But as it turns out, it's the only video we found that had this issue. The others are perfectly normal gameplay videos. So we are reaching out to this channel owner, helping him understand why this video should be deleted right away. And if he works with us, we'll keep the channel and keep helping him grow. If he's not responsive, or if he doesn't listen to us, then we're going to unlink the channel. This is how we normally operate. When we find a few questionable videos, we try to fix the problem with the channel owner, and only if they're not responsive or don't agree with our advice, do we unlink the channel. What about this channel, Lil Flyer behind me? He's a smaller channel with almost 1500 subscribers. The problem with the channel is right here. Lil Flyer, you cannot show a live band recording on your channel. This entire video is three minutes of this band playing and that is not fair use. In your channel, you do have another video where you went to your first concert. Let me show it to you. 
That is an excellent example of what a concert video should look like. You, in this video, are also showing footage from the concert, but it's a 20 minute long video where most of the time you spend showing us how you got to the concert and your experience at the concert. You show a few minutes of the band playing, which in my opinion should be much shorter and not the whole song that was played, but I think, I think this is something that can be classified as fair use, but still, for the other three videos, we're gonna ask you to delete them. If you do, you're welcome to stay in freedom. We'll also ask you to edit this video to either cut out this piece or just make it much shorter. I hope you will listen to our advice and we can all keep growing together as a family. What about this channel behind me? Enduro24 with almost the exact same number of subscribers as Lil Flyer. The issue with this channel is he's showing graphic and violent accidents of motorcycles hitting cars and wiping out. We feel this crosses the line of what YouTube would allow as an all ages audience content. He doesn't really show context, he just shows footage of these accidents, which is another problem altogether. So we unlinked the channel and I would encourage all of you to think before posting a video, would you allow your kids to watch this? Assuming you have kids, if you don't, just imagine someone else's kids. That's the general bar you should be holding your videos up to, to being safe for kids to watch. As you can tell, my voice is still a little hoarse. I got a cold about six days ago where I really couldn't even talk clearly. My voice is much better now, so I made this video, but I'm still not 100%. Click that eye to see the other KYC videos in this series, KYC 2 and number 1. These are all meant to help you keep your channel safe by giving you clear examples of what we feel crosses the line of what we unlink from freedom and what we want you to improve upon and be aware of so you don't make those same mistakes. Is this helpful? Tell me down there in the comments below what you think of this series. I plan to keep making this series as long as you keep telling me it's useful to you and as long as we keep seeing new examples of content that we feel isn't good quality and that we are unlinking from freedom and that we feel YouTube is trying to remove from its platform. Remember, YouTube has only two primary goals in 2018, content quality and growth but they're treating content quality at a much higher priority than just growing. They do want everyone to grow responsibly, but they need to maintain advertiser confidence in the platform. They never want to see another moment of what happened in 2017 with all the bad press that caused YouTube to lose advertiser confidence and lose a lot of money in that year. They want to make sure 2018 never has that. And that is why there is this 4K, 1K rule. That is why there is this MCN 50 count. These are all things that YouTube has implemented to try to maintain and restore advertiser confidence. What do you think about all this? Share your feedback down there in the comments below. I'd love to have a healthy discussion with all of you and reply to comments that you feel you have an opinion on or that you can answer questions for. Because, say it with me, so we can help each other grow together as a family, which is the spirit of freedom. Who am I? I am Papa George. George Sunpie, little raspy voice George. I am George, CEO and founder of Free Freedom. I have my little freedom shirt on today. For freedom and the freedom family and the YouTube family, because we have to remember with all these negative things, YouTube is still an amazing place to build a business, to find a fan base, and to grow a community. We are very thankful for being on the YouTube platform, and we hope to continue supporting the YouTube ecosystem for many, many years to come. What do you think about YouTube as a platform? How has it changed your life? Have you been on the platform for long? Or are you just getting started? We did a share your YouTube story a long time ago. Remember that? Click that eye to see the video that started the whole share your YouTube story experience. There are many comments beneath that video that are heartfelt, 
personal stories about each individual YouTube story. I hope you'll share that with us down there in these comments. It was really inspiring to read your stories in the past and I'd love to read your new stories or your updated stories in the present. Until the next KYC, I am George and you've been watching. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.